Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing today and then we're doing the Mandalorian's Din Djarin's helmet and I'm really, really excited for this. Um, big thanks to my best mate, Lockie. You're an absolute legend. Um, I appreciate the hell out of this. This is, this is just amazing. I'm still blown away. It's been good, you know, good 24 hours or something uh, since you dropped it off. And uh, yeah, and finally getting around to opening it now. It's been a busy busy couple of days um, and uh, Zing Pop Culture who put a little bit of a competition on uh, a couple of weeks ago on Instagram and uh, yeah Lockie entered it and uh, the, pro the prize was they were giving away three of these and uh, you know he was he was very much lucky enough to win and uh, you know part of the uh, part of the thing was like um, you know who would you collect a bounty for or something like that and yeah, he said, you know, if he wins, he'd, he'd like to add this to my collection and uh, so we can both hang out with our Mando helmets because he does already have one. So yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. Um, so yeah, if you're watching, dude, much love to you. Um, I'm stoked. I can't wait to open this thing up. I'm, I'm pumped. I know I've seen it in person already, um, but you know, to be able to take it out of the box and actually have a look at it, this is something, something else. So... Um, yeah, so we're just gonna really cut all the tape and stuff. Now, I haven't had a Black Series helmet since uh, Vader. Darth Vader was the last one I've got. Um, this, they've really impressed me. Um, a lot of the helmets that have come out, I'd still like to get uh, one of the Boba Fett ones. Um, still unsure about which one, but I'd love to get a Boba Fett helmet at some point. But, uh, for now, we're just going to open up this one. It's cardboard and packing and stuff. Let's get that all out of the way. This is, uh, what's this? Uh, instructions. And sort of warranty stuff. It's good. I'm sure there's another little packet down here. That's the uh, flashlight attachment, which is uh, you can swap out for the rangefinder, which I probably won't worry about. I probably won't use that, but it's cool anyway. And it will actually light up, which is really, really cool. So it's probably easiest if I put this on the ground and lift it out. Go. Whew. And there is my telephone. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So this thing, this just looks fantastic. I'm really, really blown away. Um, I don't think it fits my head. <laughs> See, I have a pretty big, pretty big head. So it's a. Uh, I'm interested to. Uh, try and squeeze this over my gigantic cranium. I uh, don't think it will, but uh, it's cool. still cool to uh, check out all the insides and stuff. Looks good, all the padding, everything like that looks good in there. It's really well painted. I was watching um, Adam Savage's video he did on his channel. Um, and he did like a comparison with the with the Hasbro one here and uh, the EFX one, which is about a thousand dollars. And uh, yeah, he did like a him and uh, the other dude did a bit of a repaint on them, and you know just tried to match them paint wise. And uh, it's actually really good what they did. So I definitely recommend checking out that video um, at some point. But yeah, this thing it looks it just looks nice. You know, it's that nice finish. Um, really blown away by this thing. It's, it's really nice. That just the weight of it too. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled with this thing. It's so good. Just checking out all the insides and everything like that. Like it just looks great. So uh, 
little button there. I'm going to have to refer to all the instructions and stuff for like battery location and all that sort of thing, so do that afterwards. Well, let's see if I can get it on my head. So uh, yeah, it fits. It's a tight fit. Uh, my nose is a bit squashed in there. Um, but yeah, I'm actually glad I can put it on my head. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's probably like these sort of cheek plates bits here where that sort of dents in. That's probably the bit that sort of hits me on the front of the head as I put it on. Otherwise, it goes on and uh, yeah, I don't know whether I'd be able to remove any of the panelling or anything on the inside just to give it a little bit more space, but uh, just so I can wear it as a, as a cool, fun prop to muck around in and take some cool photos. So uh, we'll see. But yeah, just wanted to uh, do a little bit of an unboxing for this one. I'm really, really thrilled with it. It's it's amazing and uh, you know, it's just an absolute honour to have this thing in my collection. It's just such an iconic piece of Star Wars now, Mandalorian. And uh, yeah, this is fantastic, really fantastic. So yeah, thanks again to Zing Pop Culture for holding the contest. And thanks to my buddy, my main man, Lockie, you're an absolute legend, love you, man. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm pumped about this one. Should I get some more helmets? I don't know, I don't know. I'd like to, but this one's awesome. Can't wait to find a nice, a nice place for this one. I'll be on my bedside table, see what the wife says. Alright folks, thanks for watching, take care, may the force be with you always.